Hello, I'm Emily Spaven and this is your Week in Tech. We're filming this episode from the Office of Comparison Service U-Switch and property website Zoopla. In investment news, financial automation service Dealflow announced a £10 million Series B led by Holtzbrink Ventures. Additional funds were provided by Notion Capital and Frog Capital. Cybersecurity startup ZoneFox secured a £3.6 million Series A round led by Scottish business angel investment syndicate Arch Angels. The Edinburgh based firm said the new funding will enable it to triple headcount, open a new HQ, and set up a team in London. Real estate investment platform Brickfest raised £2 million from a number of angel investors. This forms part of the PropTech firm's latest financing round, which has increased to £4 million. London-based fintech startup Squirrel raised almost £460,000 on crowdfunding platform Syndicate Room, exceeding its £400,000 target. The UK Government announced its digital strategy, revealing plans to offer over 4 million free digital skills training opportunities. The likes of Google, Barclays and Lloyds Banking Group are to play a part in offering this skills training. Dyson announced it is to begin work on a new multi-million pound research and development centre in the UK. This is part of the company's £2.5 billion investment into future technologies. The firm plans to double its workforce to around 7,000 in the next five years. Overseas, Snapchat's parent company Snap IPO'd, raising $3.4 billion. The firm's valuation reportedly reached $23.8 billion. Our download of the week was mentioned earlier in the episode. It's Squirrel, the savings management app. The app enables you to separate your everyday spending money from your bills money and you can also set and save towards goals such as that dream holiday. And finally, a Japanese woman has released her first app at the age of 81. Masako Wakamiya has released an app that shows people how to properly display traditional dolls for the Japanese day of celebration called Hina Matsuri. She also has a blog and teaches people how to use Excel to make digital art. That's all for this episode of The Week in Tech. For more technology news, visit our website and follow us on Twitter.